Yes, Kaisho FM is it's me, FM Cheeto. Welcome back to the series, A Long Time Between Drinks, I Know. As you can see, we're at the front of the Etihad for a very important Boxing Day away game. Boxing Day, I hear you say? Yes. Let's go have a look how FM Cheetah balls up his recordings. Yes, so as you can see, we're here at Boxing Day. Why is it Boxing Day? Yeah, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, so we're away to Man City. Now, if you have a look at the table up there, you'll see we're in second place just behind uh, Liverpool, who are four points ahead of us. Uh, 24 goal difference. That's what, somewhere between Chelsea and Liverpool. Man City in fourth here. So if we can get a draw or maybe a win, not that I'm expecting it, uh, you know, would make a serious impact. Now, why would I think we have any chance away at Man City? Here's why. So, the last time we were here, at the very start of the season, it was a 2-2 uh, home draw to West Ham, which is a bit disappointing, and then a 2-0 away uh, loss to Chelsea. Now, if you look down the rest of the table, you'll see quite a lot of wins, some draws, and a few losses. Now, if you have a uh, look at those losses, it's a Tottenham loss. Uh, there's the 2-1 away loss to Crystal Palace, which was very odd because statistically we looked pretty good at that game, you know, in terms of possession, in terms of shots. I think shots on target were a bit low. It's, you know, the perennial issue that we've faced for the last two seasons. Then there's that 2-0 away loss to Liverpool. I would have liked the 1-0. That was actually a lot tighter um, than, uh, than the, the Palace game. But in the end, you know, finishing counts. Uh, and then 3 0 away lost to Brighton. What is Brighton? Why do they? They've got this hold on us. But there you can see a lot of wins. Now, there's some really, really special wins in there, uh, including a 3 2 home win to Man City. Uh, we've got the 3 1 home win uh, to Chelsea. And a 1 0 uh, away win to Arsenal. Arsenal, who will be seeing again at home this time for the second game. Now, why such a long break and why didn't I come back for, as I, I think I said, Leicester and Leeds? Well, I didn't come back for Leicester and Leeds because we were doing so well. And I thought, well, you know, we need to be coming back for something like Newcastle and, say, Liverpool, which I did. I did come back for that. Recorded the hell out of it. Two things. No sound. Um, for some reason uh, on uh, OBS, the, uh, the input in is just default, so you didn't hear anything. Uh, and then... What I did on top of that was between sort of those two saves, because Wolves was in the middle there, I, I, um, I didn't change the scene, so all you saw was me officially reacting to things. So without the sound, obviously, completely. So, so just to double clock up FM Cheetah. So that was that. Then we had uh, Man U, which was actually a 1-1 draw, so I was happy with that. 4-1 to uh, home Breast Brom, which I would expect at this stage. 2-0 uh, home to uh, Villa. And, of course, we talked about that Brighton-Carabao uh, quarterfinal uh, loss. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of glossing over that, but it was a shame. It was, you know, early silver would have been nice. As I've um, said previously, hmm, I might have actually said it in the last recording, which you'll never know about. Coming up here and doing pretty good shouldn't be, you know, too difficult. I mean, really, if I'm honest, I think I was thinking we might make a Europa Cup um, player, you know, position or, or conference league or something like that, if we did really well. I wasn't expecting this kind of form. The issue there, and it's all sort of English Premier League saves, really, I think, is that the gap between, you know, making even third and fourth when you're really good and one or two and winning the league is really, really wide, that gap. And you need players with a lot of, you know, 16-plus attribute scores. And the issue very early on in those first, you know, maybe up to five seasons of, of FM is those legacy players, your, your Salas and all that sort of thing, particularly the ones with speed, which is why I picked Salah, is yes, their, their attributes degrade, physical attributes degrade, but the mentals and the technicals tend to stay the same. So instead of having 17 speed, they've got 14 speed. Well, they're still incredibly deadly for many seasons until those, and, until those new gens come through and, and grow. Uh, to that kind of level, or in our case, well, yes, new genes as well. Um, but uh, also our um, 
you know, the, the wonder kids we have here. So speaking of wonder kids, so obviously one of the challenges here is 18 and under recruiting, which means we will, I mean, always get someone who is underdeveloped for the kind of heights we want to hit. So, you know, they could be lower to mid-table Premier League players or really dominant championship players, things like that. But we're not, you know, suddenly you're not going to get, using the example again, a most seller out of the box. Um, but we have to keep our eye on that. So obviously my scouting networks are only looking for 18 and younger and, you know, I keep it sorted um, by their scouting reports for what they're worth. Popped in sort of um, in the middle of the season just to have a quick look. I tend to have a look when, you know, you get the sort of scouting reviews. Look, here's the scouting reviews. There's 40 players and, you know, I just, like, okay to that. Don't bother going deep. In. But every now and again I go, well, let me just have a look, see if anyone's popped up. Bobby Blackburn popped up, um, an Arsenal youth prospect. And as you can see, we've made an offer 7.5, um, going to 12.5 of, I think, 40 games from memory. Uh, and he's coming in. He's coming in for that winter transfer window. Here's Robbie Blackburn. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty, pretty good, you'd have to say. Uh, this, to me, is our, this is our Evan Ferguson backup. Now, is he Evan Ferguson out of the box? He's not. And if you look at his potential, he's probably not even Evan Ferguson in totality but obviously he's you know if you look at, you know his current ability versus his potential ability there's real growth there and when you look at those attributes particularly finishing i think you know always determination work rate and, and stamina are good this is someone who can step into that role I and mean, we've got plenty of advanced forwards Nyoto, Hendrik, um online vita roque people like that um and we did bring in um someone who i don't think uh, you saw in the very first episode, and we'll have a look at him in a moment, um, kind of fill that role, maybe step in, um, but not a Robbie Blackman, who's really, really good. We're going to have to keep doing this. We're going to have to keep finding, you know, defenders, et cetera, et cetera. I think particularly defenders and, well, particularly defenders right now, I think, um, who look like this, who out of the box at 17, 18, look really good. Um, I'm kind of shocked we picked him up for, you know, 12 and a half over, you know, 40 games. I mean, I, th I think, I don't know why Arsenal would give him up, really. Um, he's, you can, he hasn't, he's obviously hasn't really played much, you know, one off the, he hasn't, he came off the bench, he hasn't come off the bench, so he's been benched for the Champions League in the Premier Division. He did play a lot of non-competitive games, mm. you know, not all that much. Nothing in here suggests he's spectacular, you know, personality lighthearted. You know, nothing terrible here, and just from an attribute point of view, looks pretty good. Now, uh, I talked about um, bringing someone in to help Evan Ferguson, and that's the English Turk, Emre Teskel. So, as you can see, he's not the same. He's, he's not as developed. He's in on loan from Stoke with an option to buy, um, and like a lot of the young players, that consistency isn't there. Now, he's obviously not a legend. He is someone that Stoke have um, on their books. Um, 8.5, no, wow, 16 million to, to buy him. So is that going to happen? Probably not. If we look here, Premier League, so we, we've stuck him in some cup games, obviously, um, and he's we've started him. And look, oh, like the last cup game I think we played, uh, two goals. So he almost got a hat trick, and he's done really well for the small bits he's, he's done. And he's obviously at the moment down in the, the under-23, is just you know, doing a good job. Um, he naturally wants to play as a target forward on attack, which is sort of how we start him. Um, but if he comes off the bench to, say, replace an Evan Ferguson, you know, just leave him as a pressing forward. Just the determination, the work rate's not too bad. Stamina's a bit weak, but again, that's it. So that was the other player that I think you didn't see come in um, just before the transfer window. Now, that's it. No one else has left um, loans, but no, we, we didn't lose anyone to sales in that transfer window. What we have had is a bit of run of injuries over the last week or so. So uh, Lavi is just sort of bouncing back to fitness now. I think we might probably stick him on the bench. In fact, let me do that uh, right now. I'm just um, sorry, George Hall. Uh, I'll put you down the under 21s. Um, oh, do I want to start him? I do want to start him. Isn't that terrible? I want to start him. I just, it's just a relationship, and we'll get to that in a moment. Anyway, uh, Fresnado's out for a few weeks. Yep, so two weeks-ish. Um, and, you know, he's been 
doing okay. The fullback sent up, mm, it's all right. Um, but he's super important to us. And a lot of these players have signed uh, new contracts um, and well, inexpensive new contracts. Um, but as I said, everyone is um, is here. It's a nice tight squad. I quite like it. Nice and tight. So it's a great little squad here. Uh, and obviously, given our uh, position in the league, we're doing well. If we look at average ratings here, Nyoto, absolute crack. I mean, he's slightly below Evan, but we'll, we'll have a look at his stats in a moment. There's Evan, top of the table, of course. George Hall wouldn't too worry too much about that. A lot of that's coming from under 23s and short stints, bomb, short dominant stints uh, in cup games. Um, Slanina, middle citizen, what can you say? We've talked about Tezgel. Uh, Montero's a bit like Hall, comes in for those games and does well. Scott having a great season. I think this is down to his goal scoring. So he's been putting goals away. Six assists, two. He's really stepped up this season. He's terrific because we need him to. And PSG are all over him. There's no suggestion he wants to go, but they are working him hard, releasing media statements, all that. Um, I know it's going to cost $100 million to climb from there. And that could be problematic because if he wants to go, the problem we have is Rasberg here. Yep, he's requested a transfer. He's wanted on loan, which we don't want to go. I've put him out for 20 mil. This is all down to a stupid thing. Like, you haven't played me in centre midfield as an advanced playmaker. You gave me a warning kind of, or maybe it was just a reminder early in the season. Then the first kind of, hey, um, Nicholas wants to talk to you, just spiraled out of control and to get me out of here. And then his training has been rubbish and blah, blah, blah. The problem is he's very bloody good. <laughs> he's pretty good. I mean, he's pretty damn good. And I'm hoping, hoping that we can play him a bit more and cheer him up a bit and he'll turn around in that kind of FM way that players tend to do. Um, so, yes, the, you know, some good performances there. Baji, mm, that's, I don't think that's shocking for a player who comes in first season. Uh, Ganacho, same sort of thing. The lower ratings are sub seven ratings. They're not horrific. They're, they're not. They're not a real. Like, sorry, I'm not, I'm not looking at the right thing. I'm looking at average ratings here. So you can see here, pretty good. Those key players, high key things like that, doing well. Um, disappointments, yeah, Major Teach. Mm. Um, this average rating was probably affected. He owned gold. Was it the Liverpool game? I think it was that 2 0 loss to Liverpool. Of course, an ex Liverpool player. Hendrick not having the season he had last year, but he's not playing as much. One and I'll take starting off the bench again. I'm not worried about it. So, Jerry Bellingham, a bit like um, Buonanotte, just not getting enough time to raise that. Lara is probably the, the more disappointing of it because he does play pretty regularly. Lewis, been out with injuries, um, wanted. Um, oh, but what was he doing there? Let's get him over the under 21s. Old fitness because he's had a long term injury. Uh, wanted by some big teams. Uh, he just, did he just sign that big ass contract? Um, no, it wasn't him, sorry. But uh, he's here contracted to uh, 2029. So come at me by look at that 30 million. I mean, you wouldn't want to lose him for 30 million, would you? I mean, anyway, so um, obviously we're performing well. Most of the key players are, are doing well. That's kind of it, I think. That's really it. Was there anything else uh, I did speak about? No, no, I don't think so. I think I think that's it, really. I didn't mention Waylon um, Renecki in on loan from Arsenal. Where's he from? He's in on loan from Norwich. $8.5 million option of buy. He's not, you know, and the money's not terrible. Um, but if uh, there are other players I would like to get my hand on, let's have a look at him, actually. Salvador Alas at FC Porto, the 17-year-old Portuguese uh, defender. So he looks a little bit um, like Renecki. But I think uh, standard things like leadership, personality, um, bravery, tackling, and what would appear to be his better potential. And he's already got a couple of nice things like he is a fairly consistent performer as opposed to being over here when the young ones tend to be fairly inconsistent. So he comes in with a, um, you know, just kind of a better starting position. Physicals, I mean, he's 17. He's got a bit of height on. He's not huge, but he's got a bit of height. But, you, you know, there's a lot of boxes there that he ticks. Um, so I like Salvador. Now, he's actually listed on loan, but they won't give it. I don't know what it is, but there's no loan box here. Um, and if we look at his report, he has no interest in joining. So we need to get him in on loan. Maybe I'll come back to this uh, in uh, during the transfer window, winter transfer window, see if we can bring him on with that option to buy. 
The other possible option is Stacey Key, I guess. Um, is that, I mean, Priya would make me suggest he has Asian Irish. Is that an Irish name, Key? I guess. I see that and I see Vietnamese because I'm in Australia. Um, sorry, Irish people. Sorry, Vietnamese people. So the only issue here is, I mean, this Stacey would appear to be a, a defend, a, you know, a, a, um, a DM, a ball winning midfielder, 179. I see a lot of nice things there. I mean, maybe that aggression's a little too high for central defence, but again, good determination, um, great teamwork, of course, decent tackling, physical, two bays, a bit slow, maybe. Um, we could get him in on loan. No, again, no loan option because they won't give him to us as we're playing in the same league, I imagine. But there, there's an option. Anyway, that's a very fast sort of track through what you've missed, given we're halfway through the season. So we've got Boxing Day, and then we've got the 29th, and then we'll see what happens after that. So two big games. The first one is this one, Away to City in the Emirates. Um, can we do it? Let's go find out. All right, tactical meeting. Uh, yes, opposition instructions. I'm obviously still on positive from that last game, I guess. Uh, I'm not hitting early crosses. No, I'll keep it as it is. If we have a quick look at that, you see Jeremy Pino is at uh, Man City. Brian uh, Yeager, good to go. Yep. Everything looks super normal except Ake is playing there uh, down on the left, which makes me wonder whether we should focus on the right. Ake's not going to come forward too much, and Pino's probably not going to work back either. Silver's a hard worker. Hmm. I don't think so. I was thinking, you know, every time I kind of focus on right or left, that players tire so quickly. So we'll just take the opposition instructions and we'll go uh, to balance. And there we are. If I just change Lavia to a ball winning midfielder on um, uh, on support. So the only missing line you'll see there is Estevez and, and Rudy Baji. The reason for that is simply because um, uh, Fresneda is, is injured. So um, Estevez and Baji don't have that relationship now. What is really interesting is if I do this, look at this. It's already starting to happen. So hopefully we'll get a bit of this with Estevez and Baji too. We'll get a bit more games of them together. So it doesn't matter who we bring in in that role. They're going to have a... They're going to have... Those lines are going to start happening. So I think we're going to... Oh, no, it doesn't work. Support? Uh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm going to leave it as a support role. I mean, it's Man City. It's all... It's away. Everything else is the same. Now, a 3 2 win last in, in, in the uh, home game. Um, I love a draw. I mean, that'd be great. Draw would be really, really good. Um, but the very look, I'm not obviously at this stage in the, in the series, I'm not super worried about you know, losing to your Man Cities and your. You know your Liverpools and and all that. Not doesn't don't want to, but I'm not super worried about it. Um, I'd rather not lose. Well, you know, if I take a loss, um, maybe maybe one nil. So let's just see. Hopefully, they're not too jumpy. Yep, that is their lineup. The bottom the yes. I mean, hmm. I mean they're very good. And this is, goes back to the sort of legacy player issue where. It's my best developed player, their players to grade. Um, and this is where you see, I think, in series, uh, where it takes a little while to overcome those Liverpools and Man Cities, and then something happens. The AO makes some decisions, and um, away you go. I'm a bit choppy, so sorry about that. Uh, straight to a highlight, that's interesting. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's really jumpy. I'm so sorry. Ah, there it is. Badger Titch. Yep, sorry about that. We're going straight to the break. Wow, that's super skippy. Tell you what, give me a second. All right, I'm going to go to 2D, see if that helps. Um, Regola, I've given him a berate. Ah, uh, one for one. <laughs> All right, highlight. Okay, so cheats. We go Lewis Wonderbastard. It's a long shot of four. Lewis scores against his old team. Estevez finds Scott, just cuts it over. There it is. He just keeps doing it. That is the third time he's been in, you know, um, best goals of the month. Uh, at least a couple of times he won this goal of the year. 
last season. If you were, if you've been around the series, you saw that much better. It was like thirty plus meters back. Um, but he does that a whole lot. Okay, it's our highlight. Lewis again. He's going to shoot again, isn't he? Oh, it's it's going to get Why not? Uh, it's a deflection. We've got a corner. In swinger from Rooney Baji. What's going to happen there? Not a whole lot. You and me Pino's on it. We're closing it down. There is Kaiki. And that's, oh, that's a bit better. Ah, here we go. Oh, good on you, Cap. Cap Slanina. Don't go long, Cap. Mm. Okay. Why? Why? Why do they disobey? Why do the, the goalkeepers disobey? Oh no! And he skips past them. There's the Bernardo sneaks in there. Come on! Come on! Demand more. That one is uh, sorry. Him with the stuttering, eh? I may do. Uh, I might do a restart. Uh, there we go. And there's a uh, beautiful left foot. Nothing Slater could do about it. Yes, but Vanessa will, I think, will restart um, her computer. All right, demand more. Yeah, I'll, I'll restart uh, in between the games. All right, so um, we're moving into the last five minutes. Okay, let's get an equalizer. No, I don't want that. Let's go get it. Don't get, let's get that ball back. Come on. Go get it. Go get Evan. Oh, you khaki. Oh, no, no, no. That's it. Okay, Nyota from Rooney finds us. Come on, Rooney, do it. Where's the pass? Where's the pass? Okay, Padre, go out there. Go. Oh, no. Oh, Padre, just come on. Oh, I think I'm done with him for the season. I am done with Padre for the season. I'm seeing just too much. Kaki's on a 6 4. I know, corner in swing. Ah, it's the goal from Ireland. Oh, I'll have to check it by marking with three, one down before half time. In swinger from Banana, of course. There he is. Who was marking him? No one big enough, obviously. You saw whose name I saw there. Two minutes of injury time. Wow. Just get in the dressing room. Uh, show me something in the second half. No, no, Kaiki's on the 6 3. Oh, someone's got to come off. I don't want it to be. It's got to be Kaiki, isn't it weird? I really want it to be uh, Badger Teacher come off, but okay. Kaiki's coming off, sorry, mate. Who's the other 6 3? Garnacho. So Esprit is coming on for Garnacho. I think we need to go for positive. Um, I mean, we're going to get something out of this game. Let's have a chat with the boys. So, gosh, it's a really nice to be primed. That's Bria. Do that. Love it when they feel like that. I do love coming back to a start of a Man City highlight, Gundogan. Scott. Rooney. Tom Rooney. Dude, no. The blind passing nonsense. I. Oh, no. Of course, it's a pen. I mean. One. Yep. Wow. I'll give him a break. That's terrible. Who was that? Best of it. Still sitting on a 7 2, you say? Okay. God damn it. Five shots, two on target. Say 12 for seven. As we move towards 60 minutes, um, uh, I think let's, well, as we hit it at 60 minutes, let's have a look at uh, Nyoto. And, okay, so Nyoto is not, it's not happening. So I'm going to bring on. I'm going to bring on Vasberg. Am I? Am I? Mm, okay, I'm going to bring on... I'm going to bring on... Okay, but what am I going to do? Oh, I'm, not, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bring on Jude Bellingham. Leave Ferguson on. I'm going to go with shorter passing. And uh, who's that 6'4"? It's really apology. Okay, but I'm not there. Not there. Okay, so it's, that's the that's four subs. I pump the fist. Go out right there. Well, what I'm not doing is inspired. Jude, I'm so sure. This may just be the the uh, highlight from the um I'll hop, take a goal. Oh no. Oh, I'll have I'll, if this is a real highlight, as long as we score for it, I'm super happy. Yeah, just give it straight to a striker, mate. Yeah, okay. Let's see how we go. Oh, here we go. 
When I say fires a long one in, Bellingham collects, finds a spree. Uh, he's in the box. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's not going to do anything because Jeremy Pino's on the box. Can we get him? Ah, uh, Scott, and it's, God, it just, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. <laughs> it's a straight red. This is a disaster. Wow, you've come back for an absolute disaster. So obviously we're going to go cautious. We're going to go more direct. And we're going to play for set pieces. Sure. Let's do it. My goodness. Here we go. Ah, oh, yeah, just what I wanted to see. Yes, it was offside. It was definitely offside. It was definitely offside. No, it wasn't. It wasn't offside. 5 1. Let's have a look at this mess. That's who I think it is, isn't it? Yep. Ashley Phillips not doing his job. Yeah, I don't need to see that again. Wow. Oh, 5 1. And another city highlight. Here we go. I think it's really going to matter now. I'm going to take it back to balance just because, oh goodness me, Chuck Wazy's now on the bench. Okay. Chuck Wazy. It's kind of clear, but Jeremy Pino's on it. Lewis clears. Here we go. And he's through. And he scores. 6 1. Yay. <laughs> well, you've come back. What a horror show you've come back for. I've come back for you. Ah, uh, who was that? Is that? And that was Magic wasn't it? That was Estevez. And how is he still on a 7 1? Why was he still on a 7 1? All right, we're at 70 minutes. Magic is down off. Oh, I mean, everyone's a mess here. Who's the 6 4? Yeah, 6 5 is uh, Lavia. Tell you what, I'm going to, mm, what am I going to do? I'm actually, are we going to try and hold it? Or, oh my God. In between changing, Alvarez finds the second goal and there's 7 1. Okay, well, that's answered my question. So bringing on, uh, so Emery, pump the fist, come on. Seems motivated. I'll come back to this mess. Frimpong tearing back. Um, yeah, the back. back to doing nothing. That is just a horror show. I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, actually, I want to do that. I just want to drop that line back a bit. In fact, let's drop everything back a bit. Let's drop it all back a bit. 7 1. Corner, Spiria fires it in. It's nothing. It's a pen. Is it a pen? At least, a pen. At least give me another goal. Thank you. Evan Ferguson's going to step up. Evan, please. The corner. Bree with the answer. Come on. Another highlight. Man City. I just noticed that uh, Evan's on a 5-9. I mean, these are my averages to shots. Second one's bad enough as we head towards the end of the 90. Surely there can't be much at a time. Two minutes, make it fly. Or give me a goal. It's a highlight. But at this stage, quite frankly, no. Poor Rico Lewis. Poor Rico Lewis. He scored that only goal and then he's then he gets caught out by that. And it was six two. Eight one. Worst performance ever. 
you know, hey, you got to see that. The worst performance ever by Derby team. I'm far from pleased with this result. I'm not going to throw the water bottle. That never seems to work. That is a horror show. So we'll go to the press commentary and I'll say, we weren't prepared for today, and that's my fault. I've made a mistake. It's an appalling result. It would be foolish to change our plans based on what I'm on confidence. Uh, there's no need to panic. There is no need to panic. Look at our goal difference. Dropped to 17. There's obviously an argument to my hate that fourth place for Derby coming up is great. Not a forget play like that. Okay, so um, I'm very sad. What I'm going to do is just go restart this and uh, come back uh, for the uh, home game to Arsenal where I hope we can get to redemption. To redemption. Where is Arsenal right now? Arsenal sitting a couple, uh, they're in the eighth. Um, they can't catch us with a win, but we want a win. We need a win. All right. Anyway. Oh, God. Record loss ever. I'll see you in a moment. Yes, we're back. It's nice to be home at uh, Pride Park for this game uh, against Arsenal. Hopefully we can get the bitter, bitter taste of that awful defeat out of our mouths. We want to win. We want a substantial win. Well, we want to win. We want those three points. Let's just get two at home. All right, so 29th uh, of December, so we're very, very close uh, to the transfer window. Uh, and if you if click here, you'll see... Obviously, um, Blackburn's coming in. Uh, we're uh, crossing over that right back from, was it last season? We brought in extending and um, uh, Horst Larsen, um, I think he's I think he's going to stay out and loan the left back, even though we could probably uh, do with him, given the injury to Fresnader. Um, uh, so, hmm? um, and then home to Brighton, we're going to win over Brighton that game. Anyway, that's for the future. The now is Arsenal, so let's get to it and have a tactical meeting. Position instructions, lower line of engagement. Mm, I'll take it for now. I don't know. Anyway, Arsenal look very Arsenal like. And uh, Saka, who was, I think he was, I think we saw some news items that he was, you know, on his way out. And Ketia up front, I guess he's developing. Odegaard and Marika, who I don't know, Japanese player, I'm assuming. That sounds vaguely familiar. Where's he come from? Come f oh, he's come from um, a Sporting. On 45 million. How's it been going? Not too bad. Um, uh, Sangare, again, that name sounds a bit familiar. PSV. So Ibrahim Sangare, looks okay enough. Uh, brought him in from Bayern. Okay, so Bayern will happen to go. Again, not doing too badly, I guess. And then the back line is Tiate, who they've had, I think, since last season, uh, who's a decent uh, striker, Saliba, of course. Uh, ben White on the right there, so not a lot of pace going forward there. And Tierney on the left. Hmm, tempting to attack down the left here, isn't it? But we talked about that last time, I didn't do it. Maybe I should do it. Should I do it? I don't know. Anyway, let's go find out. Team selection, of course, Estevez, it's, it's the same as last. Uh, oh, it's not the same as last. I've put Evan on the bench because... Um, well, you know what? No, I'm not going to do it. I said I'm, gonna, I'm just not going to do it. Um, uh, and, and what am I going to do? No, uh, wow, I'm just hesitating already. I'm going to put Andrew back on uh, just because um, he's just better than all of them. Okay, so much for that. So, yes, it's too important this game. We need three points. The main difference here, obviously, is in central midfield, where, of course, Alex Scott is now serving his band for his straight red card. And I've brought, say, Emery on to start next to. Vasberg, Vasberg's a risk. I've got to say Vasberg's a risk, but I've got Hall and Bellingham here as well. Lavia on the bench because, hey, why not? He hasn't got a relationship with, I don't think he has a relationship with Vasberg. I didn't look, but I don't think any of them have a relationship. No, that's fine. So we might as well give Waza uh, a bit of a go. Okay, now there, Baji's there with Estevez. Maybe this run for Estevez will get a bit of a line happening. I trust Lewis, he needs to play. I mean, they just... You know, that's it. Um, so lower line of engagement is what we need to remember in terms of changing things up. If we need to, as I said, we are um, starting positive. Media credit, of course. So, um, you know, I, I want goals. I want goals. I want early goals. Uh, the way we played it against Man City wasn't us. It's a squad game, so there is rotation. We're happy and confident. That's us. Um, yes, let's have a quick look at that uh, Arsenal lineup again, just to make sure it is what they said. Is sometimes there are changes, but it is what it is. Uh, and I think, oh, 
let's get to it. Uh, what I will do is I'll change 2D sideline because I've restarted everything. Let's see how we go. So across 15 minutes, which was my usual encouraged time, I'm already uh, doubting this uh, lower tacking because we've only had the one shot and that wasn't even on target, so I'm changing it. All right, and uh, we get to 30 minutes and then our four um, shots. Only uh, a bit two on target. Oh, goodness, maybe maybe I did make a mistake with that lower line. Back to a lower line. Go back to a lower line. We're seven for three. We have two for nil. What is happening out there? What is happening? I look at the average ratings. They're very average. And it's their highlight, of course, as you would expect. Again, the goalposts look to be, or the, the, the bar anyway, look to be our friend there. Eight shots, three on target as we go into the last few moments of normal time. Just the one minute of our time as we go into the half. Um, I'm far from pleased with what I saw. Um, I sure am. Tied bodies out there, of course. Estevez on a 6 4. I'll just bring Noah Hay. I'll tell you what, I'll bring Noah Hay on as back on defend and I'll make Baji get more forward. And I think I'm going to put um, Jensen Vasberg on attack. How's he looking? He's, I'm fine. It, it's really he's not looking great. He's on a 6 4. He's looking pretty ordinary too. I mean, as is, I mean, as is, as is, as is again, very ropey. I'll leave it for now. Let's get in the dressing room and um, let's rev up um, Noah High and tell him well, he's motivated at least. It's good. He's pretty ordinary, but mm, I can't keep Estevez on there. Second highlight of the match and uh, it's Arsenal's. Sucker on the ball and Kedia, they're moving the ball around very, very well. And they've scored. And they've scored Slane into coming forward. I don't think it's him. I think it's the central defenders not keeping their eye on the run of Enkedia. Let's watch this. Yeah, I mean, this is just wrong. Well, I mean, he had to come out because Kaki let him down. Kaki let him down. So first of all, um, I'm going to break them. If we have a look at Kaki there, he's on a 6-4. So yeah, it's it's not Slane. It's Kaki. Never play him, Cap. He's good. Again, it's just looking, looking like, um, it's, I mean, we haven't even changed two on target. It's looking just like the uh, the performance we had away um, at, uh, 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 sorry, away, away to Man City. So tell you what we're going to do. We're going to change things up straight away. Uh, now, Baji. Yeah, okay, so it's it's not Baji's game. So Baji's off. Born and after comes on. Boys up front, not looking great, but they might not be getting service. Low block, no, in fact. We're going forward. Uh, we're going forward and we're going to attacking. And i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring him there and I'm going to bring Zoe Emery down here because let's not muck around. I don't know what it'll do. Anyway, it's pump the fist. Time enough to make a difference. I mean, let's just go aggressive. We go aggressive and we concede again. We concede to a central defender from free kick. A 2 0 down. Is this our second half of the season slump? I don't know. Let's see how this highlight goes. Let's see how the highlight goes, hey? Don't dabble on freaking ball. Okay, goes along. Nyoto. Nope, Marita's on it. They've got the ball. They're coming forward, but thank goodness Nyoto came back. Oh, uh, yep, okay. Yep, Loki. There's Jesus, and there's Aya all on his own, of course. Don't fuss around. Goes long, Ganacho. Yo, 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 yo. Again, because out left. <clears throat> now that. Yeah, now that was Gab. 
Put it in 3D. So I cross it in. Yep, that was terrible. That was gap there. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we have to do something. So Rico, I'll bring on Lave for Rico. Who's the sixth one? Kaiki. And on comes Ashley Phillips for Kaiki. Uh, that's four. Wow. Um, it's going to choose number six, five, and he's looking tired. I'll tell you what. So if I bring on... Do I bring on a spree or do I bring on Andrew? Do I solve two things and make him an inside forward? All right, I'll, I'm going to drop him down as fullback on a pack, but keep him there and move Vasberg here on attack. I'll move him a bit more central. Uh, come on, I'll move him a bit more centrally. Hey, middle. Thank you. All right. There's the changes. Three nil down. I mean, what can we do? Let's find out. Okay. It's our highlight at least. Hayes on the ball. Roger teaches his hair, making me nervous. Hendrick shoots and he shoots wide. And he shoots wide because that's how we're going. So the last five minutes of normal time, seven shots, nothing on target. They're seven of ten for nine. They're tearing us apart. They've got possession. They've got everything. Four minutes of injury time. We haven't even looked vaguely like we're going to do anything here. I mean, sure, very attacking, whatever. And that's it. Wow. We waited so long to come back. We've come back to that. Outstretched arms. I mean, sorry. Thrashing the arms. Far from pleased. Far from pleased. Yeah, so I guess the question here, is this us? Is this us? Is this actually what the Premier's like, League is like for us, even though we had a great start? It's embarrassing for me as a coach. Um, Teatro. Don't want to comment on performances. There you go. Um, so we're still in fourth. Uh, our goal difference drops, and is this is it the kind of league washing out, and we're just going to slowly tumble down, regardless of our good start? I don't know. I mean, would, would that be the worst thing? I mean, you know, I guess not you know at the end of the day maybe if that's just how it is Hendrik fails to end gold drought will i criticize his form i think i will put my arm around him we took that yeah fury all that let's go in for the chat hey okay. let's go in for the press conference see what they've got to say half expecting the result to go against you not at all i go into every match thinking we can get a good result it's come to an end um we need to focus we need to focus um what do, you, uh, what do you make of Newcastle's struggle this season? Uh, too much quality, I guess. Um, and that's pretty true. So, I mean, I talked about uh, in the episode you didn't see, or well, maybe I did mention in the first half. Sorry, I'm suffering from a lot of PTSD right now from those two matches. Can you have PTSD that soon? I don't know. Anyway, um, we talked about uh, coming back for those big matches or matches against big clubs maybe we need to change that let's go have a look well the shocking discovery is how few games we have left of this season uh, the other thing to think the other thing in terms of the arrangement of these fixtures is when i find a big game biggish game like say uh tottenham it's then combined either side by clubs that are you know kind of we would hope we would hope to be you would think so if I go down just a little bit down here, we've got Man City at home, and then either side of that, we've got West Brom away, um, and Wolves away. Wow. So I'll think about this. It's definitely going to be Man U at home, because they're currently sixth, we're fourth. So in theory, given the games that we've got, which is Everton, Brighton, Villa, we've got that one game in Tottenham, eighth, uh, and then coming into the West Ham, I think... I suspect it'll be, uh, I mean, I don't know, it'll either be uh, West Brom and Man U, it'll be Man U and Wolves. And then if we look toward the end of the season, yeah, I mean, there 
teams there. I mean, again, free, free. Um, uh, this season beginning, you would have thought, yeah, that's important. But looking at this, do we, check, do we come back and bury Forest? Uh, Forest currently sitting in twentieth, and then have what could be an important game against Crystal Palace, given their ninth, um, or Palace and Bournemouth who are tenth. No, that's not to worry about now. So we're going to see you definitely for a Man U game, which is uh, nice. Uh, and then one of these games, either side. Uh, we'll see how they're sitting. Anyway, um, thanks for joining me for this episode. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go away and, and be safe for a bit, play through some uh, games maybe. Check me out on Twitch, of course, because we do a bit of this on, on, on Twitch, you know, these sort of games here. Uh, so come and have a look there. Um, but we will be back uh, for the Wednesday episode of that. Anyway, that's it. Don't forget to drop a like, even just to appease my broken soul. And don't forget to subscribe so you know when the episodes are coming out. This season's going super, super fast, especially for me. Not so much, for, well, I guess it is even faster for you because we've jumped so far ahead. This is just two episodes and we're halfway through the season. So four episodes season that's kind of crazy isn't it um or maybe a five with a wrap up I and mean, it is kind of crazy for our first season of the premier league but we'll see we'll see how we're going uh, anyway that's it again yeah thanks if you can drop the likes much appreciated it helps obviously in the algorithm take over the world and you know we'll be ruled by ai and yeah some subscribers It'd be great if you could subscribe that's it for now um thank you yourself thank you for joining me see you next time for those two games until then blasterate <laughs>